A lot of tradition on our block. Tomorrow we'll look at the business heritage on 21st Avenue, from father to son. See you then. Vic Miles, Channel 2 News, our block. There ought to be music to go with this conveyor ballet. Instead, only the factory-like noises of out-of-luck yard birds being processed by the thousands here at Manila's Poultry, one of our block's longtime business establishments. With 45 employees led by 82-year-old Joe Manila, who's raised four sons into the family business. This is a mainstay on 21st Avenue, Patterson, New Jersey, our block. And who are you? Tom Jr. <laughs> and who are you? I'm Vince. Vince, and what is who are you? I'm Pat Sr. <laughs> and who are you? Tom. Now, what all you people have in common here? We're all related. We're all related. <laughs> and you all work here? We're all, here. We're all, we're all here, right. Family affair. I come to Passaic from Brooklyn, 1904. Then I come to Patterson with my father. A friend of mine said to me, what do you know about the chicken business? I said, no, I don't know nothing, but I'm going to learn. And I did. And I did all right. A father and son business surviving in a tough old mill town. Times have been lean here, with Patterson losing more than 200 wholesale and retail trade businesses since 1970. But for the Manellas, these times are good. We learned how to clean and kill chickens downtown Patterson in a live poultry market. From there, we came over here. Yeah. We started with one van and one chicken to light in Jamaica, Long Island. Yeah. From there on in, the word of mouth from one person to the other, now we have 20 pieces of equipment. How many chickens are in here right now? Right now, in here, about 25,000. I get my gizzards, I'll be fine. <laughs> you come in here for gizzards? Yes. Why? Because I love them. You love them? Yes. Why do you get them here? Because I love this store. And I love the people in here. And I live close here. And what else? I don't know. What, what else you got? Well, I get turkey too sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I get chicken legs because I love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, get them, get them to pay this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fool the customers. When you fool the customer, you're not fooling the customers. You're fooling yourself. Sound business sense and tight family ties on our block. The Manellas are one of two reigning business families here on 21st Avenue. Another old world business tradition. Father and sons that have stuck together through the generations. Meet the Gianellas, bakers extraordinaire. I don't believe that when you work for your father, you should be paid less because it's your father and you're expected to do it. I always took care of my kids well and, uh, and tried to get them interested in the business. And they have. Do you see them passing it on to their sons, or how do you feel about it? I should hope so. How much would you like? One quarter? Gianella's more than just a bread wholesaler. It's another Our Block family institution, providing employment for many Jerseyites, along with sustenance for the community. To sit there as long as you feel like it? Nobody bothered me. If they bothered me, I'd move. So every morning you come by? Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of friends here, they do the same thing. And they BS, BS here a little bit here, you know, short themselves coffee, whatever, sandwich, you know. Yeah. Very good, very good. Gianella's and Sons, a business in good financial shape. Not so everywhere on our block. This used car lot on 21st Avenue is run by Jim Dom and his son. And it's just scraping by. How's business around here? Rather slow. Hmm, to what do you attribute that? Uh... It's tough for the average person to get credit. Uh-huh. So you're selling a lot of used cars or not? No, we're not selling a lot. Of course, credit was the main thing, and credit has sort of dried up. Uh-huh. Well, what happens to you when credit dries up for all the folks? Well, it's just tough. You just got to wait until it comes back, uh -huh. hopefully. Uh -huh. 
Business success comes hard on our block. Joe Manella's made it money-wise and passed it on to his sons. But since the death of his wife two years ago, he's been lonely. Financially okay, but emotionally, these times are tough. I don't really care for anything no more. I see in the store a lot. Yeah, I stay in the store because I want to keep active. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't hardly go in the store. I have to sit here and stay. I, I don't think I'll live a day or two. Actually, the elder Joe Manila had two marriages. The one with the business on our block continues. The other? I've never seen a woman like that. Very nice person. Uh -huh. Very nice person. But when I talk about her, I don't... I chills come over me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to talk about it. Okay, so fine. Okay. Because she was, she was too good. Very too nice person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving Day, and I happen to know that Mr. Manella is in for a great Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you are, too. We leave the block for the holiday. See you back here on Friday. Vic Miles, Channel 2 News, our block.